A 2009 BBC report on the unsustainable use of water in India goes on to say parts of India are on track for severe water shortages as per the data gathered by NASA's gravity satellites. The report also stressed the fact that access to water was one of the main factors governing the pace of development in the world's second most populous nation. The ramifications of the looming water shortage would only worsen if citizens and concerned officials hesitate to pay heed to what is happening in our own backyard. Belandur in the southeastern suburbs is home to the largest lake in Bangalore city. Over the years, many residential layouts have sprung up along the lake shore. When there's a sudden surge in population, there's a proportionate increase in the demand for water supply. Many bore wells were dug around the lake's perimeter and some are still being dug. Digging as many bore wells is one issue, but when it becomes an unregulated and illegal practice on the public property adjacent to the lake, it invites ire. Many residents here like Binaya Dhar from Green Glen Layout have repeatedly raised the issue on various platforms only to be disappointed. There is even a lone bore well right in the middle of Green Glen Layout on a small piece of land surrounded by apartment complexes. The residents allege that the man who owns the land and operates the bore well is flouting norms by digging deeper than what is the prescribed limit. They just take it take the place on rent and dug up the well there. And the height is around 2,000 uh, square, 2,500 to 3,000 feet. So what happens is, let's say I have, uh, you know, every apartment has their own bore wells. Okay. So wh what it go does is, you know, the water bed, bed, you know, it has got different layers and plates. It directly flows into their uh, reservoir. And I keep asking, okay, why I have to give my water to you? Now the groundwater in the area is being depleted by numerous such illegal bore wells. Water tankers ply in and out of here regularly, damaging the roads in the process. These lorries sell water from these bore wells across Bangalore. The irony is that the residents here are forced to buy water sucked right up from beneath their own homes. To add to the ecological blow, many garbage shacks operate on the shore of the lake. Why would anybody sort the trash from around the residential neighborhoods on the shores of the largest water body inside the city? A lion's share of city sewage, over 400 million litres a day, is drained into the lake which has a catchment area of around 148 square kilometres. Lake uh, itself can be a revenue point of view for the government uh, if a uh, lot of activities can be done, can be uh, made into a commercial value, can be uh, done, something like whatever uh, it has been done in Ulsu Lake. The biodiversity has been compromised and many species have vanished. The state of affairs on the ground are just stark reminders of the disconnect that we as citizens have contracted over time thanks to 30 years of thoughtless urbanization. <laughs>